Whole show going crazy. Whole show going crazy. Top five, we debate. Top five, top five, top five. Five over friends. The show where we debate our top five list on a topic chosen by a listener with the listener. As usual, our friendship goes out the door once we get into it. This is Five Over Friends. Hey guys, it's Seth. When Wes and I decided to start our podcast, we used Anchor because it's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And they'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's essentially everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Seth and Wes with Five Over Friends. Thanks for joining us for another episode. Uh, Today, we've got a new guest, our first actual guest on the show, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, We've got Addie with us today. Say what's up, Addie. What's up? (laughs) Uh, You want to give the audience a little bit of information about yourself? Sure. So I am 22. I just graduated from Wake Forest with a degree in applied mathematics, and I will be pursuing a PhD in applied mathematics next year um, in Arizona. So right off the bat, we know Addie's smarter than Wes. And I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for, the, for those of you that don't know, Addie is my little sister. Um, so she was one of the people who submitted a topic this week, and we we liked her topic. We did, um, yeah. She had the best topic, I thought. And she she originally submitted um, childhood TV shows, right, Addie? Yes. And. That seemed, because Addie's 22 and I'm 32, it felt like we, we kind of would add some descending opinions and, and different, basically like a different pool of shows to choose from. So we talked to Addie a little bit and decided to go with scripted TV series from the years 2000 to 2009. So basically from the 2000s. And we just said um, the easiest way to do it was anything that had any show that aired at least one episode that aired between 2000 and 2009 um so i felt like this week was a lot harder like way harder than than serial last week Wes, how do you feel about it yeah with serial it's like I, I knew my top three for sure because those are ones that i still ate all the time to this day and um i kind of had to there were there's a lot there were a lot that i just considered like on the on the brink and and I wasn't as passionate about my four or five as I, as I would be um, with the TV shows. With with the TV shows, I immediately thought of like five or six and went and checked the dates and they all were within the 2000s. And then I did a little more research, just uh, kind of browsing through. And then there were five or six more that I know I loved from that, that time frame. So this one was tough to cut it to five, whereas serials, it's like that five we're, we're pretty much the only cereals that that, you that, eat. I, that I eat at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, we we talked about our honorable mentions on our Instagram, and I still eat some of those. But uh, yeah, I felt like when you go to the store, you pretty much know what you want, right? And yeah. with TV shows, I feel like I'm not always watching the same TV shows. So I like had some nostalgia in mind, and I had some I had to kind of think about what aired when. Um, Addie, ha- how hard was it for you to come up with your list of five? For me, it was pretty easy. Um, I watch a lot of TV shows, so it was those classics that I, like, don't mind rewatching, or, like, that just, like, jumped onto my list, and I didn't really think twice about it. Gotcha. So, yeah. in between your invisible numbers and your calc six, <laughs> just, like, you're watching TV shows from the 2000s. And she made, she made a good point there. Everything on my top five, I've, I've watched more than once. Yep. It was that gut instinct because yeah. I knew if it was my gut, then it would beat y'all's. So I already <laughs> oh, know I'm going to win. No doubt. All right. So uh, first things first, real quick, though, I lost this week because I think Wes had all his buddies vote for him on our Instagram page. <laughs> so did you decide what you need me to do, Wes, or what embarrassing thing I have to do? Let's give that, since we didn't have uh, a guest on last, last week, um, let's let's give that a a one week grace period and, and let's, oh, let's brainstorm a little bit. That's fine with me on, uh, I mean, I'll, on punishment. I'll, just, I'll take the mulligan on, on week one. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a week, <laughs> one, a week one pass on the, on the, uh, on the punishment. And 
uh, I guess going forward, since we do have a guest, we'll, we'll take a punishment going forward. And if the guest wins, then we um, both got to do something. We both got to do something. What if I, what if I lose? <laughs> if you lose, then that, that means that one of us also lost probably. So then we'll just make the one of us that lost. Do yeah. Well, this times <laughs> if you lose, you're related by blood. So Wes will have to do something. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Uh, all right. So without further ado, Addie, you got to give us your number five. Okay. So I feel like this is going to get a lot of crap from y'all because y'all are a little bit older than me and y'all are, you know, males, but my five is Gossip Girl. It, um, it's a classic. It has... I knew that shit was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew Gossip Girl was going to be on this list. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it. don't give it crap because I know for a fact Wesley has watched it and I'm pretty positive he likes it. So I think it, I think it's something that like if males give it a shot, they can like it. But I know that females. I can tell like, you why he liked it, Eddie. it, Eddie. He liked it because Blake Lively. I mean, there's only two <laughs> words. That's the only reason you need to watch Gossip Girl. It's 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 of the chick flick shows that I've had to watch. It's not the worst. I'll I'll give it that. And Blake Lively does not hurt. It. I mean, it mixes it up. It doesn't. I think it had enough seasons to be interesting, but not you know overplay anything and i i think it's i think it's a strong choice from um chick flicks as wesley likes to call them from chick flicks montana watches my wife montana watches gossip girl i think she's binged it like three or four times so i knew it was gonna come up today i just jay watches it too and that's it's it's one of those that like when we're sitting around and don't have anything else to do and we don't have a show that we're currently watching it's one of the ones that she'll pick to throw on and it's just in the background yeah. All right. Um, I'll, let, I'll let the audience decide on on Gossip Girl. <laughs> All right. I, Seth, I don't have much input. You lost last week, so let's let's hear your fifth. Okay. So I really struggled. I'll I'll just tell you that I had like I had so many that could have been five, like number five. I have uh, just looking at my list here. I have five more that could be number five. So, um, and it hurts me to 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 like leave out these other ones but my number five is dexter good show it was, I, I really like dexter mm-hmm. i'm actually currently re-watching dexter for the fourth time i think um i feel like dexter's five for me and maybe not higher because it kind of slowed down and they threw some weird twists in at the end um with like his sister they had like a weird romantic relationship thing going on it was kind of odd um near the end but like seasons one through five, I think, were super strong. And it, it almost every single episode had me wanting to watch more. And I'm a big like drama, mystery, um, action type guy. Like those are the, I, I like a lot of drama. So Dexter's definitely up there for me. So number five, Dexter, if you haven't seen it, it's a great Showtime uh, series it's good it's great and there are a lot of people that you may uh recognize throughout the season so that's my number five all right i'll i'll go on with my number five it is... i don't hear wait 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 i don't hear any hate on that one from Addie I mean, I'll throw, on that I'll, one, so I'll it's throw, like i'll throw out a little good. hate because i'm gonna be honest i don't even know if i've heard like the title dexter so that's gotta like knock it down a couple oh my there. gosh like at least you had heard of mine but the age is showing I, I don't even think i've heard <laughs> of dexter so it's a great show. watch it then it's yeah, a great it's really I, you good. would like it I, I promise you would it did not and i spoiler it didn't make my top five but it was on that list that uh, of the group that definitely was in consideration um it wasn't one that immediately came to mind, but when I started scrolling through shows that aired in the two thousands, it was on there. I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's a, that's in consideration. But I, when it came down to it, I went with my snap, like first five that came to my head because those are the ones that you like, if you, if you can get five in that, just. Yeah. With that right the reaction, of like those are the, those are the ones that you're, you're most passionate about. And so my, I think one of the reasons that, it came directly into my head just because I'm like literally watching it every night right now, just a couple episodes. So, but go ahead, give us your number five so we can trash it. All right. Parks and Rec. Oh, <laughs> Parks and Rec's like the knockoff office. I mean, that, that's, there, there's going to be, there are people that are just diehard office fans and, and they, 
trash Parks and Rec, and then there's people that are the opposite that are diehard Parks and Rec fans and trash the office. And um, I mean, for me, it's that it's one of those shows that I can just throw on and I don't even have to be on an episode. Like it doesn't have to be the, the, the next episode in the queue. I can go to any random episode, watch it. And it's funny. It, Leslie. Nope. Uh, yeah. It's like a, it's like a brainless yeah. thing. You, and you can put on any episode, like you said, it's yeah, like, and, you can and, watch it and it's entertaining. It's, it, it makes me laugh. It's, it's my brand of comedy. Um, just. It is not mine. It is yeah. Not mine. I, I, didn't think it would be so in <laughs> in the the fashion of the the snake revealing like we did last week i'll go with number four um and those who are fans of this show are gonna um be mad at my number five but the office is my number four so i i, I picked both They're there both, you go you uh, went right over it. top five um a lot of people say if you like one can't like the other because they're they're very competing as far as they were the same show pretty much um, with different casting characters. And but that to me, they're the same brand of humor. They're that same mindless, uh, just throw it on and watch it. I, I probably watched through both of them at least three times at this point, because in college or after college, whatever, it's, it's a show that I would just throw on and watch three, four episodes until I fell asleep. So, yeah. and Michael Scott's one of the, best characters ever he's awesome and well, when i was yeah it's it's just like parks and rec right you can just throw on any episode and it doesn't matter kind of where you're at in the season it, it's still funny um i support that choice i think yeah. it's funny i mean you even you can just like watch clips on youtube and you can get into it now i will say that i think that discredits your five just because like they, I think that they are competing and I agree like if you like one the other one feels like an off-brand version of the first and, and yeah. I, under, I, I get that but the 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 initial reaction for me was what are the shows that I just keep go, going back to from that era and those are the I, I mean like I said I've seen both three times so that's that's what warranted a choice for me um and knocked some of the other ones out that I've probably only seen i've only seen once like dexter only seen it once loved it but didn't go back for that rewatch yeah all right so uh my number four kind of in that snake pattern is the wire so uh it's a really really intense great show it's like i said earlier i really like dramas and i like like crime crime type things um whatever that means I like it, criminal action, things like that. So The Wire, uh, the storyline kept me hooked the entire way through. The fact that it was like an HBO show, there's really no holds barred, so they could do whatever they needed to do to to get their point across. And especially in, you know, that drug world that it was set in, you need to have that um, creative ability to do that, I feel like, to really – um, immerse the audience into the storyline. And I think they did an incredible job of that. And I think it's a great show. I, it had me hooked. Like, almost just like Dexter, but even more so, every episode ended and I'm like ready for the next one. So I love that in 2020, we have streaming services that I can just watch repeatedly back to back to back to back to back seasons. And I don't have to wait a week or, you know, in between seasons, I have to wait a year almost for it to come back on so yeah the wire number four for me great all right show. i don't i don't have anything to add because i've never seen it <laughs> i've Are also, never, oh my I've gosh. also never, seen <laughs> never seen the uh, wire i've never seen it so i, I, I have i've also never heard of it i can't, of it. can't accurately uh criticize oh, it i've heard of the wire are... there's and i've it's one that i've heard lots of good things about but never never seen it Oh, I guess I can okay, never you gotta add it to your list. To I'm telling you, you gotta add it to your list. I've got to. I've just got. I've got to binge it now, so that in like four or five episodes, once I'm done, I can give you crap about that pick. No, you won't be giving me crap, buddy. You'll, <laughs> if anything, you'll be asking me why I didn't have it higher on my list. All right, All right Addie. Addie. Four. So this one might get the most crap from from y'all, um, and I'm bracing for it. And I knew it was coming, but I had to put it on my list because it's something that when it was coming out mid 2000s, I started watching on and off with my mom when she had it on, and now to this day I can proudly say it's still airing. 
So something that airs for 16 seasons has to be, has to be great, right? Um, so it is Grey's Anatomy. I was about to last pick when you said it stayed on, uh, that Gossip Girl stayed on for the right number of seasons. I was going to say, unlike Grey's Anatomy, that it stayed on. In- <laughs> no, there's a reason it's still going. But they've, recyc- they've recycled enough cast members and brought in new good. And recycled the storyline every few cast few members. Years. That, that too. Something tragic I, happens I to somebody and somebody... That's every show. Something I mean, tragic happens and then they come back and that's every show. So that is like a typical broadcast TV show that airs for a long time, right? So I've actually seen... How many ep- how many seasons did you say have, have been now? I think there's currently 16. But 16 there's I think I've seen like 14 seasons out. now. Good Lord. Yeah. Because Montana really <laughs> likes Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> And it's one of those kind of like Wes said with Gossip Girl. He can just, it's something that if Jay wants to watch it, he's fine with watching. And that, that's kind of how I am with, with Grey's Anatomy. I, I don't hate it. I mean, it clearly would not be one of my <laughs> top choices by any means. But if she's going to pick something and it's between that and some other chicky flick type show, I'll watch some Grey's Anatomy. I think there's but I will enough going for it. And I worked, at, like, I worked I in a hospital too. so. I kind of felt like I could kind of relate to some of the, the things that were going on a little bit. So. Yeah. And a lot of the shows that I watch because I am still in school are like, for me, mindless. So like something that like has a lot of repetition and like scenes or storylines is something that I like because I don't have to watch it too hard to like get the gist while I'm like studying or doing something else. Yeah. I think I had some good characters. Um, I think the whole McDreamy McSteamy crap was terrible i mean they just <laughs> were really just going after all the females with that one real hard uh, clearly they're doing that with the whole show but yep. it's like that was going too far but there are some good characters on there um yeah i i, I don't hate on that pick honestly it, it, nowhere near on my list but it, you could have picked worse shows like <laughs> i knew it was coming but uh <laughs> <laughs> all right let's hear three Okay, so my three, um, and I just rewatched this, so I love rewatching it. I actually like the movie version of it as well, but it is Friday Night Lights. I think that is a classic uh, high school, like, you can get into it. Um, so hopefully y'all don't hate on that too much. I think it's a strong pick. It's a good show. Uh, it, it, was an, it, it would be an honorable mention for me. I'm not going to lie, it was one of the 10 or 12 that were – considered for the list it did not make it again that is a shame alert. you would have won if you had put it on your list <laughs> <laughs> addy will get addy it. will get the girl vote on this one for sure with those three uh that i feel like with tim riggins every girl every girl loved friday night life just for tim riggins that is true <laughs> the 17 year old drunkard <laughs> I've only seen like three episodes and being a sports guy. That's a shame. I know. I, I feel like I should have seen more. I mean, I've heard good things about it. I've never seen, like, I've just seen snippets here. And I there. think as it, it, it's, it, you relate, you would relate to it more 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think, I, I think it, like, college. even like if you watch it now and we're in high school, even though it came out whenever in the 2000s, I think that you would still like relate to it as a high schooler. Really? But I, I think as a 32 year old, it probably wouldn't hit quite as close to home. But I, I feel like as a anywhere from freshman year of high school before till before you graduate college, I feel like can can still kind of relate to that. Gotcha. But it's I, still got those moments that like it's like the like sports movies that are like they're down and then they come back that type of vibe. If yeah. you like pull for the underdogs, like there's moments of that in the TV show. I just don't know if it would hook you long enough to watch the whole series. But. See, I've always gotten like a softer version of Remember the Titans vibe from it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. And I need a, if I was going to watch anything, I would need a harder version of Remember the Titans, not a softer version. <laughs> the I love Lights Remember movie, the Titans. The movie itself for Friday Night Lights is probably harder. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's more intense. Mm-hmm. All right. So. It's my turn for my number three. Uh, you guys can hate on this. I know a lot of people probably don't like this show, but 
Uh, Prison Break is my number three. It's a great show. I love Prison Break. Um, I feel like almost all of my picks, they got weaker as the seasons went on, but I feel like that's how it is with most TV shows. Prison There's... Break 1 and 2 are like some of the best episodes of television ever. So yeah. season, seasons 1 and 2. They're spectacular. Yeah. Um, season 3 was okay, and then it started to go downhill just because they're, you know, they're trying to keep it on air and trying to keep it there. How much can you do with breaking out of prison? It's right. Like you can only break out of prison so many different ways and they tried to do it a million different ways. And the re-air really, is good too. Yeah. And the re-air is good. Um, so I've watched it three or four times now uh, just for those top, for those first two seasons really, because they're just so good. Um, really great characters. I think there's great character development within those two seasons even. And I think that's really difficult to do is develop good characters so quickly. A lot of other well-known and highly liked um, TV series, I feel like kind of develop a couple characters per season um, and maybe build upon those as it goes along. But I feel like they really kind of built up probably a core 10 characters or eight to 10 characters within those first two seasons. So I got to give them huge props for that. And I just think it's a really, really great show. So you're not going to get any arguments from me. I can't add too much just simply because I haven't seen it, but I've heard okay things about it. It's it's good. You really need to just take my list and write it down (laughs) so you can watch all these because they're all really good. I'm telling you. Well, I'll, um, I'll go ahead and tell you my three, and it's Prison Break. <laughs> oh, see, there it is. <laughs> That's why I don't have anything to add. Um, negative. I, I don't have any criticism there because, yeah, it's great television. It, it's I've seen it three times, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think that's – and the other two that I've, that I've got left, I've also seen three times. So um, it's a great show. Uh, couldn't say a bad thing about it to be honest the only I, I, okay i could say one thing that but you've already mentioned it like you can only break out of prison so many times in so many ways so like obviously the storyline it was kind of finite and they like three season seasons three and four definitely weren't as as good as one and two but one and two some of the best television i ever watched um, yeah it really was. And that was on when I was in college and my roommate, who's one of my best friends, um, best man. I was his, the best man at his wedding. Um, yeah, we watched it like religiously every Sunday night when it came on. We were always hooked. And that's album. why I like it now, because I can just stream it and watch it back to back to back. And when I say, hey, you want to watch Prison Break, Montana is always down to watch Prison Break again. So I know it's good if she's like down to watch it and she gets really into a show too. There's only one show on my list that I actually watched as it was coming out. And then the rest of them have all been binges after the fact. After the and, fact? Yeah. And the one that I watched as it was coming out, I, was, I, like, I wasn't religiously watching it. I was watching it like when I would come downstairs and my parents would be watching it. So uh, Really? Yeah. But now you like developed yeah, and, an affinity for it yeah so this it's number two so it's my turn for number two right mm-hmm. um so that's lost uh it was like appointment television for the entire country i felt like back when back when it came out which when was that 2004 is what my list says here so back then um i was probably a little young for lost but i remember coming down and every whatever i don't even remember what night it came on television but i i'd come down and mom and dad be watching lost and i'd catch episodes here and there and then i think freshman year of college i stumbled on it on netflix and i said i remembered watching some of it and remembered some of the storylines and binged it really fast which is lost is long in a lot of episodes and they're they're not the short 20 minute episodes they're it takes some dedication to binge lost and uh how many seasons do you know how many seasons are in lost I feel uh, like it was on forever i, I want to say six now i've got a really little, i want to say it was six i mean i hate on it a little bit simply because i couldn't even make it through the first season when i attempted to watch it that's it's what i was just, gonna say I, i've tried to painful. i have painful. tried to watch it 
at least five times, and I, I mean, can't it, get past. I can't times. get past the first episode. I, I, it's so long, and you, it, I can't get into it. It's like okay, the plane can't. crashed, and then they just like keep showing the plane that crashed for fifty-five more minutes. I don't yep. need to keep seeing <laughs> the plane. Not, like, okay. I mean, they're, an, uh, they're on an island. I really don't think you can do much for six seasons on an island. You can, I promise, if you give it a chance. And and, and there there are. I just looked it up. That that's correct. And and one of the great things about it is is there's so many like mind tricks in it and they're like they're the 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 writers of the show and it, that uh, the one of the weird things about it is the the writers of the show shifted there for a little bit because it was during the writer strike so you could see like um kind of a difference in the show mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure that i'm pretty sure that that's correct uh, i feel like that's not a strength for a show though well <laughs> if you can feel that the storyline shifted well but i feel like that's a bad thing <laughs> when one, they, they one of the two back. was probably better than the other and then it's, it's probably just disconnected if it's but w- that's not the point of that the <laughs> um well, what was I going to say? The show has so many mind tricks that they're playing with you that it makes you think about a lot of stuff and like the afterlife and um, kind of the meaning of a lot of things. And to me, that was that the just the. I know you said you liked mindless television, Eddie. I don't always like mindless television. Sometimes I like to be engaged by it. So the thinking that you had to do after an episode and some of the the, the things you had to tie together, I really liked that about it. Wait. You say that, but wasn't it like a reveal at the end that it had something to do with the afterlife? Or was that something that was kind of known throughout the seasons? Because I'm not familiar, but it's that so basically throughout the seasons there like you it, there is a reveal at the end. I'm not I'm not gonna I guess I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, you can spoil something that's fifteen years old. <laughs> so basically yes, the end, the end <laughs> I mean the end, come on. some some afterlife stuff and um basically play with your head and there's there's theories of thought that people think that it was all just a dream then there's also people that think they were in this purgatory type of yeah pur- that's there. what i had heard that they were um, like in purgatory so. and then there's also a, a there's there's people that think that they were alive together on the island but all died together on the island and then went to the afterlife together and that's where the purgatory comes from because once they were all dead and they all could leave purgatory they i've I've read a lot of people's thoughts on this online because I was very confused by the end the very first time I watched it. Um, I still don't know. Which what makes for a great show. I love not having any idea what the outcome of the show <laughs> is. Well, I mean, it's kind of like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little Sounds like a strong in number explanation, too. <laughs> to be honest, of the show. No, it, it's, a, like, it it's, just it's just a great show from like start. Yes, there's, it makes you think, but there's so much action, so much adventure, so much like, cliff the, the cliffhangers in lost are some of the best cliffhangers ever as far as from episode to episode and like you it you'd be one o'clock and it's like continue the next episode uh, yeah, I'm, yeah i'm gonna continue because they left me on a such a cliff here I, I can't stop all right so number two lost just like you did on this episode lost <laughs> um number two for me is one that you has already been mentioned it's the office so going from all my drama shows that I've been been on in my top five, I'm going all the way to The Office. Um, one of the things that, you know, we talked about The Office before, but one of the things that I really like about The Office is that a lot of times um, different characters are narrating the feelings of another character um, audibly while the other character is kind of feeling it internally, which is a level of screenwriting that is incredible, but they did it in a comedy, which is like next level in my opinion. And like you said, like Michael Scott is one of the the best characters in the history of television, in my opinion. Um, and of course, I'm talking about the American version of The Office because that's the one that get out of here I with the watched. British version. Yeah. Um, um, and one thing I didn't mention, and I'll the mockumentary format is hilarious too. Just the fact that. Oh yeah. Well, they invented that, right? Yeah. So it's not like, I feel, I definitely agree with Addie in that you probably shouldn't have Parks and Rec and The Office in your top five. Uh, Cause clearly The Office is much better than Parks and Rec. It, it really, it developed the entire genre of, of that type of comedy. They're in, but they're one in the same to me. 
because I like them both and they're both the ones that I throw on for mine. like another one that I didn't put on my list. That's uh, from the generation before of the mindless television friends. Like it's those, those are the three shows that I've probably put on the most just for mindless, like watching like those. And then friends was one that I considered. And I'm sorry if I just um, mentioned something on those on somebody's list, but uh but yeah, office number two for me. So went all the way on the other side of the pendulum from all my hard dramas to the office. Cause I love the office. It's, it's so quotable. I, I love how quotable it is. And so many people watch it. I, I feel like now that everybody has Netflix for the most part, and so many people have seen it that everybody can relate to those quotes. Like so many people can relate to it, that it, it makes it even funnier because you can just say anything from the office and probably somebody in the room knows what you're talking about so and it's definitely one of the most gifable tv shows of oh all. my gosh yeah definitely. for sure all, all right Eddie. Eddie. okay i'm gonna stay on brand with my chick flick dramas <laughs> and i'm gonna go with vampire diaries <laughs> i was drinking water there i almost ruined my my macbook Change it up a little bit, add a little bit of horror, supernatural, uh, <laughs> into spice up the chick flick drama, but I think this is a strong number two. <laughs> I'm really strong. I'm really struggling over uh, here. I wouldn't call that <laughs> strong, but um, <laughs> oh it can be a number two of something if you wanted to, sure. Um, I genuinely think if there was another female on this show, or this podcast, they would agree with me. I think it has a little bit of everything. It has a little bit of like suspense. Everything romance. needs a vampire, you know. I Isn't it like <laughs> it's like Twilight it's like and TV Twilight? Show. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I also like Twilight, so it's like surprise, surprise. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've never seen one minute of that show. I, I mean, it just looks like total garbage to me. So I've I seen never... a few episodes here and there, but it's not great. It's like a, a worse version of Buffy. It's <laughs> it is definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's know. really it's definitely not. I think it's a strong pick. It oh. was, like it was really popular on the CW. It started so it just barely sl- like slid into it. It was the fact that it had to air on the episode. CW is should be number one. Okay, so it didn't really make like real TV. <laughs> so <laughs> the there's CW is real TV. Okay. But it slid into the 2009, it was at the very end of it, and it was like one of the, if not the most popular show on CW, so I think that there's other people in the world that will agree with me and will vote for me for this very reason. It was the most popular show on the 29th most popular (laughs) network. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) Good justification. (laughs) It's All like, right, so it's like talking about the most watched show on C-SPAN, right? <laughs> okay, Addy, what's your number one? Okay, so my number one <laughs> is still on brand, uh, One Tree Hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, One Tree it Hill is so good. Like it's so good. Like I, there's just no negatives <laughs> that I will listen to and agree with. It is hands down best TV show out there. What sucks with this with this um, episode is like me and Seth are gonna split the vote of of normal people, and then Addie's going to have <laughs> all of the all chick- of the girls. All, all, all of the chicks and no, all of the people girls. that watch chick flicks voting for her. So me me and Seth are, might lose just on that. One Tree Hill. Isn't that like I've actually seen that a lot the, of One Tree Hill, but was that on CW also? It was, yes. The, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, what is this? This isn't even like normal broadcast television. Jay kind of likes, kind of likes it, so it's another one that she's thrown on before for mindless watching. Um, it is. People are were really upset when they took it off of Netflix. Like, it's a it's a popular show. Isn't it's it like get me some votes? I an ABC's, it's a popular show in the fifteen to twenty five year old female demographic. That's what I was gonna say. It's like CW. I feel like is ABC's. I think it's affiliated with ABC. It's like ABC's teenage, like older, <laughs> mature teenage and young adult. I feel Television, like my right? shows are like staples and I feel like y'all's shift. Like I feel like some of y'all's could shift out, you know, like 
Well, when, when you're the number it. one show on the network, albeit the 39th <laughs> rated network, I mean, you're, you're going to stick around for a while. I just feel like these and these are actors can't get jobs people... anywhere else either. So you got to take that into consideration. <laughs> They're signing long-term contracts. They're like, hey, you're going to give me 15 grand an episode for 20 years? Hell yeah, I'm taking it. All right. Like, I can't go get a commercial for Wheaties or anything. All right, we'll move on. Seth, what's your one? Oh, number one. It, this was like, I didn't have any hesitation about this. It's Breaking Bad. It's got to be number one. It's, it's gonna be, that is going to be Wesley's. I know It's it. the best series in the history of television, in my opinion. It is. I agree. The penultimate no. television show. It is. It's wrong. And, and it was on cable TV, but it wasn't on like a paid network. And AMC really put themselves on the map with mm-hmm. Breaking Bad, in my opinion. And now they have. Better call you just gave created the CW a lot of, of crap for its ranking in networks. I'm going to put that out there. Yeah, and AMC made a name for itself because of this show. Like they have they have now they're an entirely different. Yeah, yeah, they have an entirely different revenue stream for their entire business because of Breaking Bad. It all comes down to this one show. I, I don't I don't, that I, I don't see I don't see anything from the CW bringing home the awards that anything that Breaking Bad did. Breaking <laughs> Bad Vampire Diaries like, had awards. I promise they did. Yeah, Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> um so i've already spoiled it um by my comments with Seth, but my one is breaking bad and it's not even particularly close um it's, it's not close the best show that i've ever seen and i don't think i'll ever see a better show I, I i could be wrong about that but um it's just incredible um and i i really love lost and prison break and breaking bad just blows them away and See, I feel like Lost is going to lose it for you. I'm just going to put that out there. I mean, it might, but at the end of the day, there was a time where Lost was appointment television. and A lot of people liked Lost yeah, when it was the, out. The, there was a time when Lost was appointment television every week. Um, and I mean, I know we live in a time where appointment television doesn't... I just don't think it's a bingeable show, if that makes sense. Like, I think maybe a week-to-week show, it would have worked, but I think that it's... It's hard to binge. We didn't. This this list wasn't the top five bingeable TV shows, was it? I think. I mean, that comes into a play with the best TV show. You got to be able to watch it real time and like on week to week and I've, binge it. I've binged it just fine, but um, <laughs> so let's do a recap of everybody's top five real quick. I'll start. So five, Parks and Rec. Four, The Office. Three, Prison Break. Two, Lost. One, Breaking Bad. Seth. All right. Number five was Dexter. Number four, The Wire. My third was Prison Break. My second and runner up was The Office. And my number one, which is my favorite TV show of all time, Breaking Bad. So we had three of the same there. That's we did. Well, the difference is my two differences were way better than Lost in Parks and Rec as like a knockoff office. I would All agree right. as a third party on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep your mouth shut. Addy, what's and your And then what's your I'm five? going to win all of the female votes. My five is Gossip Girl, four is Grey's Anatomy, three is Friday Night Lights, two is Vampire Diaries, and one is One Tree Hill, which is, correction to, to Seth, the, the best tv show <laughs> okay yeah seth we may not get the wives votes this week I th- I think <laughs> <laughs> yes. we may lose those votes to addy all right well before we get off i do want to at least mention some of the ones that almost made my list because i feel like they they need to be mentioned and there were so many that could have made it so i just want to i gotta throw them out there and you all can do the same if you want but um one that i really wanted to put on the list because i absolutely loved it but it went off air at the peak of you know viewership was Chappelle's show. Mm-hmm. Chappelle's show was, was mm-hmm. incredible. If it would have gone on for more than the two seasons it was on, it would absolutely be on my list. But the fact that it was only on for two seasons and it was truly at the height of comedy on all TV. It was amazing. I love that show. I wanted to mention um, CSI. Not that I really love the show, but I feel like it 
paved the way for like so many other shows that are still on TV and it's been on TV for like freaking 20 something years and had 48 different spinoffs. I feel like it needed to be mentioned house. I really like house mm -hmm. a lot. Um, binge that one several times really like house, but just that was probably like my five B would be house. And then I had like, because I was kind of in my adolescence in the early two thousands and getting older um, I had even Stevens on there from like when I was a kid and then boy meets world was on my, my list too, just for like from my, my childhood shows right. that we would watch all the time. So. I'll give my honorable mention here. Um, Friday night lights, that 70s show, Dexter, boy meets world friends. And I I think there was one more did friend friends was still on in the 2000s i thought the last episode was like 1999 i thought i thought it touched the 2000s i didn't look because it didn't it wasn't gonna make the top five um yeah. but i thought it touched. Addie, the i'm gonna need you to do the math on that one <laughs> and you got, how i it met was, your mother it was 10 seasons so whenever it started let me look friends air date um and the last one that was an honorable mention was how i met your mother May 2004. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, really? it makes the 2000s. I didn't it think definitely it I, made the 2000s. I thought it barely touched like 2000, 2001, maybe, but yeah. Wow. I'm really surprised. I didn't realize it was on that. One. Yeah. I was sort of shocked that nobody put that on my list. I haven't watched it all the way through, so I couldn't it's like, put it on my list. I mean, it's a, it's a fine show, but it's nowhere near The Office for me. And that was the comedy that made my cut because I do really like drama. I mean, if I'm going to. I like shows that have me on the edge of my seat for the next episode. And I feel like all my, my shows that I picked do that for me. So. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Addie. Appreciate you being our first guest. Thanks kind for putting having yourself me out and, there for that. And picking my topic, even though I sort of got roasted because none of y'all like that. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole purpose is to get roasted. Being, being a younger generation and a, a female to the two males, it was bound to happen. It was, but I proudly put my five out there and I'm going to win on Instagram. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot more followers than us. So uh, she, she probably can, can sway them into voting for probably so it's okay. As long as you get, as long as you can sway them into listening and mm -hmm. uh, reviewing our podcast. I don't care. <laughs> all I'll right. Gladly well, take the L. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining Addie, as Seth said, and thanks everybody for listening again this week and uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at five over friends and hit us up with any uh, topics for the next podcast for a chance to join the show. Appreciate y'all listening. Thanks for supporting our show five over friends. We hope you'll join us next week as we debate a new topic. Don't forget to submit topics on our latest Instagram post for a chance to be our next guest debating your top five. Subscribe, rate the show and share with your friends to help us grow. See y'all next, next week. week.